of Lost Tube friends, it's time for another episode. Welcome! It is time for another fun Friday Floss Tube update with me. I am Annie, Joyfield Stitcher. Yay! And it is another Friday video. Yay! And I saw some of you last night in my very first ever amazingly awesome, at least for me, live. So. That's gonna be a common occurrence and we'll chat more about that later. If you are, have made it here, it might be because this is a channel about cross stitch. It might be because you stumbled upon me on accident. Hang around, see if you hear something you like, mostly about stitching, about 99% stitching. Little life update thrown in for fun. Um, sometimes some musical interludes that can range from 80s hair band to, well, pretty much anything. My musical knowledge is few and far between. And there was a request from someone, Robin. She likes to see people's shirts, so she doesn't have to guess. Well, Robin, you can see the top of my shirt. It says Jesus. And we got Texas at the very bottom. We got tacos. So I have on my Jesus, Texas tacos, because those are three things I love. Jesus, Texas, and tacos. I'm not having tacos tonight for dinner. I've ordered some good old, like, classic Chinese food, which will be here at some point. So how was everybody's week? This week flew by, and shockingly enough, today is May 1st. We made it out of April after 4,796 days. I mean, it was not the longest month ever. Yes, it was. I don't know, March was pretty long, but April topped that. And May is shaping up to maybe be long as well. So again, I am Annie. I am Joy Filled Stitcher. A couple of you call me Joy and that's totally fine. I'm, I'm good as long as you don't call me a profanity. And this is my Friday normal every week update of what I've been stitching on, what I've been purchasing, what I have planned coming up, and all those good things. And it is Friday, May the 1st. I've already said this, but it's Friday, May the 1st. And this is floss tube number 50. I've not skipped a week, which if you know math and you know calendar math, we are fast approaching one year of floss tube. And um, I have intentions to go back and watch the drain rack that is my first video. I'm even wearing like, I've been wearing these glasses pretty much since my second video. My first video, I have my like Poindexter Gigantor glasses and my hair, I have not cut it. So you can, you can measure the length of my floss tubes by the length of my hair. Um, anywho, hope everybody has had a great week. I've had a great week. Um, this week, like I said, it flew by. We had school stuff, you know, all that fun stuff. Homeschool. We're not calling it homeschool. School at home. And um, even though I am an educator and I could easily homeschool my child, I choose to pay people to do that. Because I want her to have a Christian education. Um, so this week, some cool stuff happened. So I'm going to get to that a little bit more as we move on. I have some whips. I got some whips. I like Jenny says it that way. And then Stephanie called attention to it of Just Keep Stitching. And I think it's amazing. Whips! I don't say it as good as either one of them, so I'm just going to leave it to them. And then, you know, in case you have not been around the stitchy block for the last couple of weeks, or even just the last couple of days, today started like the month-long celebration that is Stitch Mania. And in my live last night, I said, or yesterday afternoon, I said, I've been waiting like two weeks to say, it's gonna be May. I'm a huge fan of Justin Timberlake and have been since he was in sync. There were other ones in NSYNC, but he's the only one I remember. And I know everybody likes their own in sync folks, but like Justin Timberlake was the bee's knees. And that cracks me up every year. It's gonna be May. Well, I posted today, I created a graphic with him of the curly blonde hair. And it says it's going to be May, but I added Stitch Mia. So it says it's going to be Stitch Mania. Yes, it's Stitch Mania. And I um, will, I don't know 
if I'm going to show my mania stuff on my Friday videos because I'm doing the lives. I know I will do a recap at the end, but I just started today. So I feel like it will rob the folks who want to see the live and the train wreck that that is. And it took forever for it to come back up. So I apologize if you were like looking for it to come back up because you got in on like the last minute or whatever. Um, that was YouTube because it literally was like waiting, 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 and we had full Wi-Fi. So. I think what we'll start with first, because it is April 1st, is a little May stats. Now, if you're not in the numbers game of stitching, if that does not float your boat, I get that. I love counting my stitches. It's kind of the little bit of perfectionist in me. Um, I do use them for tasks. I am doing, I was, I'm still currently actually, right now we are still in the month of cars in Enchanted Stitching Challenges. Um, because they're gonna run it through Sunday and then I'm not sure what's coming next. Um, so we'll see. I am also half crazy and am probably going to stick with um, Enchanted Stitching this coming month, depending upon what the movie is. They have not released that information yet. And because I love Semi Sane Stitcher's Monopoly, I'm participating in that. And I link those groups, they're both groups on Facebook, and I link them in the description box. I just claim this every week. I'm not on top of having all my show notes, because if you've ever looked at my show notes, they are like a novel. They are about as many characters as you can put in there. And I don't, I choose to get my video up and going before I have my show notes. So usually that's what I do with my cup of coffee on Saturday morning. And I know some of you have mentioned you watch me on Saturday mornings. So I apologize if you watch me on Friday night or Saturday morning and are looking for something and then have to go back and find it. But it's the process that works for me. Anywho, in April, I had a pretty good month. I did 12,251 stitches. I worked on 22 different projects, 11 of which were new starts. Uh, I don't know where they all came from. I mean, I know where they all came from. But like I had said, oh, I'm not going to start anything in April. I really didn't start much in March because I'm going to do Mania. And I've got like 23 in Mania. Well, it's like sneaky starts. It was like, oh, I'll just start that. That's a B-Well. And I said, oh, I'll start that. No big deal. Oh, I'll have an Easter start. Oh, I'll have an Easter week start. Okay. Hands on, hands across the sea. Released a little gym. That looks cute. I'll start that. That's how I end up with 11 starts. So, I'm not going to show them all, but I will real quickly run down the list. So, I had one, two, three, four. Four of them were the Be Well and Stitch or were released during that interval. And so, we had Joy Be Unconfined, which is um, a blue, the blue flower. Elizabeth Cooper, which is, and that's the one that says uh, just, uh, Jesus Wept. And that is from Sassafras Sampler, Sassy Jacks. Um... Then I did Chicken Love, which is stitching with the housewives. Did I say four? Just kidding, three of them. So there, I really have no excuse because there was only three of them that were that. Then I started Mirabilia's Gathering Eggs. That was my Easter week start. My Easter day start was Bent Creek's Easter Bunny Row. You'll see that because I worked on that this week. I started my Noah's Christmas Ark 1 giraffes for my mom for Christmas. And I worked on that this week, so you'll see it this week. I uh, worked on um, April Square Dance, or started April Square Dance. That's Heart and Hand. It's a series. Um, I started Animal Almanac, the April selection, and that is from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I started Lone Star Stitchers, which is from, um, it's part, it was a, Twin Peaks Primitives chart that we got for Stitching Texas Retreat. I started Mary Eliza McMillan, um, 1869, which is Hands Across the Sea. That is one of their new little gems. And uh, then I started and worked on Mystery Sampler April. That's Linens and Threads. I finished my Blackbird Design stocking from By the Chimney with Care. That's the birthday stocking. I finished Chicken Love. I finished April Square Dance. And I finished Animal Almanac. Um, for April and that's also something I worked on and finished this week so I had three FFOs um, that were not things I worked on this month 
Um, I FFO'd V Fairy, which I showed last week, which is Nora Corbett. I FFO'd my to-do list from Lizzie Kate. And I have another FFO that I did not stitch. So I'll get to that in just a moment. And it's something that's very exciting to me. So I had 11 starts, four finishes, three FFOs, none of which were my finishes. Or my, or worst things that I finished a while ago. And like I said, I worked on 22 different projects, half of which were whips. I don't actually know my current whip count because I'm just ambivalent at this point to how many whips I have. It, it'll, it'll come to fruition at the end of the year when my two hour whip parade from this year becomes a five hour whip parade <laughs> or four hour. It'll be like Wyatt Earp, the movie that never ended. And yes, my dad drug me in high school to see that movie. I think I fell asleep. I'm fairly certain I fell asleep. It was okay because it was like I fell asleep like halfway through. So I made it two hours in. Never again. I have never watched that movie again and have no interest in it. All right. So last week, before we go any further, I need to take care of this for my other iPad. I'm multitasking. I've got an iPad filming. I've got my phone. And then I've got an iPad down here with my YouTube random comment generator. Because last week I said I was going to do a little surprise. And I showed you this, let me find it. I've taken a lot of pictures apparently since last Friday. I showed this meme that says, will someone please put this back where it belongs? And I said, if you could tell me what that was from, cause it made me chuckle. And mind you, this show is not even from my generation, but I used to watch it like when I was homesick. It is from the Brady Bunch. It's from their Hawaiian episode series. Um, and yeah. It ended up badly. And I'm still wondering when somebody's going to put it back because we need to be moving on. So I said I would share with you some color and cotton flosses. So I went through and organized all my flosses and I found 16 duplicate flosses in my collection. So I'm actually picking four of you that correctly guessed it was from the Brady Bunch to get a little sussy in the mail from me, a pack of flosses. And it is random. I will just pick one and shove it in an envelope. Nicely. I have cute envelopes too. Those of you who have bought from the D-Stash, I think I have really cute envelopes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the pink polka dot ones because they're a little smaller. So what I did was I pulled up, it was from last week's video, so I'm using the YouTube random comment picker. I have gone ahead and put in the URL for the video. I have filtered duplicate users, and I have filtered the comments based on the text Brady. So we're gonna get our YouTube comments. There were 38 people who correctly put Brady somewhere in there. And it wasn't like Tom Brady. I didn't think anybody said Tom Brady. So we're good. All right, so here we go. Let's see who's gonna get some. And I will ship anywhere because now I can't guarantee how long it'll take to get to you. But let's see who is going to be the first person to get some color and cotton floss. So the first one is Cheryl Lowry. She said, hi, new viewer here. I'm over in Wiley. You are so joyful. Oh, and the meme, meme idol, Brady Bunch, I'm subscribed to. So Cheryl Lowry, let me take a screen grab of that. And I will reach out to you via your original comment, okay? We're going to select another one start let's see let's see let's see janet george and it says from the brady bunch hawaii vacation episode you bring me so much stitchy joy thank you so much so janet george let me do a little screen grab all right let's do number three let me try not to drop this on the floor I have to read that from the other way. Stitching with Bassets. Hi there, Joy. <laughs> Tiki Idol from Brady Bunch episode. Greg Wart while surfing. Great video. Thank you, Melissa L. Awesome, Melissa. Thank you. Ugh. I'm not always the best at screen grabs or screen captures on. Okay, I got one more. So let's go. Here we go. We're going to click start. Who's going to be the last lucky person? April Farnham. Brady Bunch, hysterical. It's on Hulu right now. Simpler times, right? Agreed. Totally simpler times. So the four of you, I will reach back out to you via your original comment. 
So look for that. And um, I'm basically going to ask you to send me your mailing address to my email. Um, if you're not comfortable with me having your mailing address, let me know and I'll pick somebody else. But I figure if you entered, you were okay with that. All right. So let me see where we should left off here. Okay, so here's kind of what's a little bit of what's going going on this week. And some of it is Stitcher related, some of it is not. Some of it's YouTube related. I will start with what is YouTube related. So you know I had talked about kind of my recommended videos were kind of a, a mess because I've been falling down different rabbit holes. Apparently, so you know there's floss tubes. There is a whole slew of people that post videos as cost tubes. They are professional costumers, some of them historical, and they call them costumes. So I'm like, that's freaking awesome. And the one that I have fallen down the hole of, she is historical, a historical historian, first of all. Her knowledge of like historical dress is top notch. She makes some of the most amazing hand-sewn garments. I mean, it, she's a treasure to watch. She is she has the calmest disposition. Um, her name is Bernadette Banner. Um, I think she's been on YouTube for about two years, maybe. And um, she dresses historically as well. And so I just think she's totally cool. She lives in New York. Um, she has an amazing apartment there, like with just these beautiful all glass windows. It would make a beautiful stitching space because the lighting in there is just insane. Um, but anyway, I fell down that hole. And I feel like it was much more cultured than my Brad Mondo. <laughs> Falling down that rabbit hole. Not that there's anything wrong with those videos. Those are fun to watch when you're just like mindless. Um, I, or like wanting to see people do crazy things to their hair. Because I think living vicariously through that. Because I have had a moment during this where I thought, hmm, I used to really like having side sweat bangs. Maybe I should cut myself some side sweat bangs. Girl, no. That's what I had to remind myself. Girl, no. And so when I watch Brad Mondo and he says, girl, no, I'm like, okay, he's talking to me right now and my need to want to cut my bangs. No, because here's the weirdness. I don't know what this is. I have not had a child in eight years and I distinctly remember after I had her getting all of these random baby hairs that won't do anything. And the minute that I, that like I sleep on this tonight, now this is after a whole day today of Zoom meetings with kids. This will literally be like, it is the most dippy looking thing and I can't get it to lay down straight. I can't get it to lay down after that. Doesn't matter what I do. I don't know what that's about. Unless like my hair is just freaking out or it wanted to make its own bangs. Here we go. We can do some side sweat bang. See, isn't that cute? No, it's not. Okay, so girl, no. So a, if you need it, if you need somebody to reach out to you because you've got scissors going to your hair, reach out to me via Instagram and I will tell you, girl, no. Save it for when you can go to a proper hairstylist. Unless you are a hairstylist and then you do you. Um, so I have been zooming, zoom, a lot this week. Um, I have now three hours of open zoom sessions for my students if they choose to ask for my help. Um, so that's a lot, a lot of me sitting. I'm waiting for somebody to show up. And this week, nobody showed up. So I had 14 hours that I sat. So I did various and sundry other things. I took notes on things. I worked on getting floss on rings and, you know, stuff for mania. So it was okay. It's all good. But then I had a stitchy date on Sunday night. I talked about it in my video last week. I had a stitchy date, um, a stitchy chat date with, Erin G. Martini Stitcher. She's my BFF, who I've never met. But now I've talked, chatted with her. So I think we chatted for like three hours, and it was awesome. It was on Zoom. And she drank champagne because I said I was fancy and I needed champagne. I had Topo Chico. Um, I don't drink. I'm not, I'm not cool like that. And um, so that was super fun. I really enjoyed that. We just talked. Like, we didn't actually stitch. Though I don't think she stitched. I know I didn't stitch probably good because I would have wrecked some project and then Monday I participated in an awesome amazing stitchy zoom with Becca Sambri stitches Aaron G. Martini stitcher and I'm gonna leave somebody out if I don't say everybody's name 
So I'm just going to stop there. But like 20 some odd people, totally fun. Stitched while I was chatting. Awesome. And it was funny because I was like sitting there and then they're like, Annie! And I'm like, hi! <laughs> this is my first like big time Zoom. Um, not like other than like I have big ones with my faculty meetings and stuff for school, but not with like strangers. And it's funny because Becca takes screen grabs. And apparently when I stitch in my chair right here, all my chins come out. All my chins come out. So all of the pictures of me have my, all my chins on display. And they're growing because, you know, snacks. And you stop the snacking. Anyway. And then they, had, they have one sometimes on Thursday. So I did that again last night. So I'm dreadfully back behind on floss too because I've done zooms three evenings this week. But that was so, so needed, so worth it. I appreciate Becca so much. If you're not watching her, go watch her. She did, I think she's going to do dailies again this month. She did dailies all last month and she's super awesome. She's same breeze stitches. I link her below because I watch her all the time. Same with Erin. She martini stitcher. She's amazing. She ate a blizzard on our Monday zoom and that was just mean and evil. Because I wanted a blizzard. Anyway. I need no more snacks. Because I need no more chins. That's where all of the snacking goes. Is to my chin. Anyway. Let me get off that tangent. So I've been making bags this week. Because you know. I don't have anything else to do. So I've been making bags. And I have to share with you. This bag. So I followed Helen D. Um, her tutorial. Her, her YouTube tutorial her YouTube tutorial about how to make bags it is spot on I like had it there available to me as I was like doing things on the zipper because these have zippers like I feel like next level cool like I'm moved up a step on the seamstress that I can do a zipper now well on these anywho um so long story short I made this was my first attempt at her zipper bag I have some other ones already cut to do some more um, but I am waiting on a pickup order from Joann's for more fusible fleece um, she calls for an interfacing um, a, a softer interfacing I like my bags to be a little puffy and so I had a pack of fusible fleece I tried it it's Pellon and it works awesome and so now I'm just waiting on some more and hopefully they'll let me know I mean I'm not I'm not really in any rush Although I have some projects that would love to be out of their plastic bags and into a fancy bag that I made. Okay, so anyway, I made this bag. Isn't it cute? Now, hold on. Because I might screech. Because I am obsessed with this bag. So long story short, my mom found this t-shirt. It's not my size. It was nowhere close to my size. This is a junior's. This ain't no junior body. Yeah, no. And um, I was like, I'll do something with it. I thought I was going to make a pillow out of it. No. Actually, what's funny is my daughter has one as a sleep shirt in a really small size because she knows how much I love it. I love it that she loves the things that I love. Anyway. So I have a project bag that I made. I'm so proud of this bag. And I like, oh, it's like drum roll. Shut up! <laughs> Girl! <laughs> It's a Golden Girls t-shirt bag. What? And then I had this fun fabric that kind of looks like kitschy, you know, 80s, but then wait for it. Okay, if you know Golden Girls, you know that they had that, ta it's tacky now, but it was so cool back then. They had that palm tree, like fabric wicker furniture in their living room all the years. I found this Tula fabric in my collection and it so reminds me of their furniture. I know it's like more sophisticated, but yes. So I don't know what's going in it yet, but I was like, I have a Golden Girls bag out of a t-shirt. Yes. And I mean, uh, Sophia is wearing like pimp shades. I love it. Oh my gosh. So amazing. So amazing. The shirt. The bag is good, but the shirt is amazing. All right. So another big thing. I know we have not, I've not shown any stitching and we're 25 minutes in, but this is super cool and it is stitching related. Okay. So you know how I've had jo Joyfield little one? I talk about her a lot. She's my eight-year-old. She this week asked me, finally, I've been waiting for this day. And I have not pushed it. I have not said anything. She said, Mommy, do you think you could teach me how to stitch? 
And she actually, we had like a little Busilla. Is that how you say it? Busilla? Cross stitch kit. My first cross stitch kit that was a panda that I think we got at Joanne's like over a year ago when I was buying floss. She saw, I was like, panda! Didn't know what we were getting into because when she pulled the chart out, that thing has fractionals in it. I'm like, what first cross stitch has fractionals in it, Busilla? Anyway, so I said, you know what? I have some 11 count Ada. And she's like, what? I have some cute, bright colored Ada that would be a good count for you. It'd be good size holes for you to do. So we'll find a pattern. So we looked and looked for patterns. And then I was like, you know what? I had this brain, brain wave. She has perler beads. And, which are fuse beads, also are called fuse beads. Perler's the brand she uses. Which, you know, are the little beads you put, you stand up on the plate, they look like little donuts, and you stand up on the plate, and you iron them, and they make a like thing. Well, so she has a bunch of those patterns that I've printed out off of various and sundry different, like, Pinterestists or whatever, so she can make those creations. Like, she's made a giant Mario and a little mermaid. Anyway, and I was like, well, do you have any of those you'd want to do? Well, she found one, it's a frog, and... She um, decided she wanted to stitch it for her teacher. This is my precious, most, most generous child who wants to stitch her very first thing and give it to her teacher. Like, we can all learn from that, in my opinion. But anyway, I posted this on my Instagram. So this is her, and this is her putting in her first few stitches. I'm going to tell you, this kid is a rock star already. She stitches better at eight than I did at 16 when I learned. So, she not only finished her piece. That's a small, but she finished her piece. But we fully finished it today. So, this is the fully finish that I'm actually really proud of that I didn't stitch. The only thing I did was I helped her thread her needles. Because good gravy if that's not hard when you're trying to do four strands. But she's on like 10 or 11 count. So, you kind of have to do at least that much. And I helped her tie off. And I, like, she took the chart. She was marking the chart. I mean, so if you have a little one that, like, is real interested in cross-stitch, fuse bead patterns. So I'm going to show you the back first. I did a little pillow finish. I'm very proud of my pillow finish. And here is her finish. Her teacher loves frogs, so she had this little fuse bead pattern of Karobi. And this is on like 11 count pink Ada that I got off of Stash Unload literally over a year ago thinking, okay, maybe one day she'll want to stitch. Well, now she's already talking about what she wants to stitch next. We ended up buying the stitch cards off of Fat Quarter Shop. I let her pick a set of those and I got some white um, Ada for her. But she's excited about her next one. She, we put her initials on there. That's the other thing. I did add her initials. But I am so stinking proud of her, and I think she did such a fun job. And she was so excited that I got to show it. Next week's teacher's appreciation, so she cannot wait to go and share this. I'm going to take pictures because I want to save this because I don't have all of my finishes from when I was younger. Because I gave them to, like, my cousin who was born. Like, so I don't even have all of mine from back in the day. So I want her to have record, even though she doesn't care right now. She might later on if she continues to stitch. So... I was super proud of her. So, yay. Um, anywho, let's start showing some whips. How about that? We've got just kind of, a, again, a random bucket of stuff. This is a Garon tote bag. What lives in here is one of my most favorites, which is my Prairie Schooler Christmas Tree Farm. And mine looks nothing like. Mine is on 18 count. Ice Princess Ada from Under the Sea Fabrics. And I put in this Leaping Buck and these like four trees. And then there's a sleigh right here with little Santa kind of jar jutting across. There might be one other little thing here, but that might be the last detail here. And then I just have a few houses in the sky. So I'm really trucking along on this. I'd love to say I could have it finished um, by its birthday in Kind of towards the end of June, I think, is when its birthday is. We'll see. If you even made it to seeing whips, you rock. Because we're 30 minutes in. So I'm going to truck along a little bit faster today. Because, good gravy. I have a lot to chat about. I'm going to probably get some thumbs down. Although I have been, sh something has been shared with me about turning those off. And I think I'm going to turn them off. Because, 
If you don't like my video, don't watch. Come on. All right, this is the Diddly Daddle Designs in hand stitcher bag. And I used, I used that for Enchanted Stitching Challenges this week. I also used this piece. This is Mary's Sampler by Plum Street Sampler. It is a freebie on her website. I will link it below as I do each time I stitch it. This is on a piece of 18 count Mystic Fabrics. This is an unnamed. I've never, I've not seen this since and I wish she would because I have several projects on it and I love it. It's like a bluish gray or a dusty blue. And I put in, I had like three flowers or three flowers here. I did all the rest. I don't know if they're flowers or berries, but I did all the rest. So it was like 400 and some stitches. Um, I usually go over on my enchanted stitching because I kind of get to like a good stopping point. And so, yeah. All right, in this bag, which is one I did, is my Animal Almanac from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This was the April block, Posey the Rabbit. They just released May today. It's so cute. It's a hippo, Harold the Hippo, and he's grilling veggie kebabs. It's pretty cute. And I think his, like, little baby hippo, little hippo, is playing on, like, a jungle gym. It's like a barbecue kind of a scene. This is on 18 Count Snert from Mystic Fabrics. And there she is. And I think it turned out so cute. I did end up doing the raindrops. I had said I might not, but I did end up stitching them. And I just love how it turned out. It's so cute. It's one of my favorites so far. I like every one, though. I'm not going to lie. I did get this one, I'm a little concerned, because I don't know what I was thinking. When I put it in the Q-snap, it didn't look like it was going to be this close, but I think I can work with that finishing. Um, we shall see. It might be a little tricky. So my thought process while I'm pulling out my next project is that my monthlies will be at the end of the month. I'm doing um, 23 straight days of starts. And then my monthlies will be at the end. But I'm kind of saying like I'm going to devote an hour or two to a new start. because, And then I might work on other things as well on that day. If I like have a short amount of time in between a Zoom or whatever. Um, and so if I do that, I could also put in my monthlies. So this is a Garam tote bag. This was a 12 by 18 from the January bag of the month. And this one holds my linens and threads mystery sample. And this is the April block I am still working on. I color mine first. May is pretty, but it doesn't look like maybe it's as much stitching. It might be a little bit of a, a lesser amount. And this is on um, 32 count mystery linen from Mystic Fabrics. It's a huge piece. Um, so here is everything I have so far. And then I'll kind of zoom you in on what I've worked on this week because I started it this week so this urn with all the leafiness is what I've worked on so far so the urn is in gentle art soot the darker teal is cadet week Dye works cadet and then the other turquoisey color teal is um gentle arts tropical ocean so I've got a little bit more of that to do up towards the top and then I get to move into the flowers which are in my three shades of pink I don't know why my noses are all of a sudden wanted to get all yucky. It's a floss tube yucky nose. Anywho, so I would like to not fall a complete month behind. So we'll see how that goes. I would love to still work on this a little bit over the weekend because I usually get more stitching in on the weekend and I may even try to get square dance in because it usually is about a day, day and a half project and see if I can accomplish those with my new starts. We shall see. All right, this was a new start. This is from, excuse me, Hands Across the Sea Sampler, and this is Mary Eliza McMillan, 1869, subtitled When the World Stood Still. So, some things that I love about this is this unique little, like, bud flower, this polka dot urn, love anything polka dot. Um, I love the house. It's actually in, like, checkerboard, kind of. It's hard to tell because my copy is kind of ridiculous. There's just some really unique details in this. And it says, For sins so sweet as minds ill-bent, rarely repent until they meet their punishment. Um, 
And then at the bottom it says Mary Eliza McMillan, High Town, May 1869. And then you can stitch it like that or you can add this extra line of text. They actually give you, it's a great chart. Um, it's a PDF only. It's on the heart, um, Hands Across the Sea website. It's like 10 pounds. So it's about 12 something US. But you get a color and a black and white chart of the original sampler. And then you get a color and black and white chart with the extra wording, which says, Stitch When the World Stood Still in 2020 by NP. Um, or your initials. Mine would be AV. Um, and so I will put this line of text in here. And then my plan would be to somewhere discreetly, maybe not even discreetly, but maybe even under this bud, put the actual year I finished. Because the fact of me finishing this in 2020... We'll see. I definitely want to work on this. I'm thinking of doing almost like a daily 30 on this. Um, I think it's just a great reminder. So anywho, I'm stitching this on Color and Cotton 36 count in Love Letter, which was last month's loss of the month. And I did a conversion. Um, I took the called for. I was actually considering buying the silks, um, which was Aubert Soif. Soi d'Alger. Um, but then I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it in cottons, and I'm going to pull from my stash. So it's this gorgeous palette of colors. I did ramp some of them up. Um, I mean, it is my conversion, um, based kind of off the DMC. And I love this fabric. Um, so I have a fair start. I did do a center start on this. And I did the urn, which is right at the center. And then I started on this bird that sits on this little plant. And this bird that's on this other plant with this urn. And this is so much fun. These colors are fun to stitch with. Like, obsessed. Obsessed. So it's another reason why I want to pull this out and work on it. And somebody asked where I got my floss drops from. These are the access commodities that Nicole's Needlework shows all the time. Um, I have bought some off of 123 Stitch. And I have also bought some off of Fat Quarter Shop. Last time I looked, both of those are out of stock because I think everybody loves them because they are fantastic. Um, so just watch for them. And both those websites let you put things on. Um, and if you know somewhere that has them, let me know. Um, secretly. Not in the comments. No, I'm just kidding. That would be rude. That would be selfish of me. Share if you know where to get them um, currently. Or put them on your a notification like to alert you when they're available. Let me see if I have any update on my dinner. All right, so then this is another Garon Tote bag. This was the um, April bag of the month. My May one is coming in. It should be here tomorrow. I also have a mini bag that holds my floss for this project, which is kind of all shoved in here. I need to put these on a ring. So when I pull them out, they'll be all pretty. But this is the color palette for this piece. This holds, because I just shoved them all right back in there. This holds my... Bent Creek, Easter Bunny Row, and I am doing um, Priscilla's conversion. I do link her below because I use lots of her things. However, I've had two ideas of things to add, so I will be adding colors. So I'm going to use Priscilla's Plus conversion, and this is on a piece of 18 count Artemis from Be Stitch Me. So I have quite a bit more. I had MNO in the little chickies. I did PQ, R in the rabbit, S and T. So, it's a fun one. This beautiful fabric, I love it. This video should be sponsored by Be Stitch Me because I've got a little bit of her fabric in my stash bin. Okay. Next. Next and last. Living in this project bag from Be Crafty Bags. You can find them on Facebook. This holds my Noah's Christmas Ark series. I am currently working on the giraffes. This is Ark 1. And I only have just the border to do. So I got the two giraffes done. And um, I'm going to put something behind this. It'll show better. Um, two giraffes, all the snowballs and snowflakes. And then the little tree. The only other thing I just realized I still have to do is put in the little tiny back stitches for the ornaments. 
but I'm gonna tell you my favorite detail might be this little candy cane that giraffe is holding in his mouth. It's so cute. Okay, so that is all the whips. All the whips, all the starts for this week. I did have a start today. Um, if you watched my live, then you will know that it was it's a variable sampler. I am going to film a little bit later on tonight, um, a live, I am gonna do a live. I'm thinking maybe nine central time would be a good time for a live. So I'm giving you a heads up, nine o'clock central time. And um, <clears throat> my intention is with the lives is to show you what my progress was on the new start and to pick my next day's project. So tomorrow is a spin of the wheel because I don't have anything planned. And then I only have two more planned starts. So I had this one and two more. I have one more on the third and one on the 19th. So we're gonna have a lot of spinning fun coming up. All right, plans, I kind of went into that. Lives each night at nine, um, at least through the 23rd. I may do it for the whole month, we'll see. Start a berry bowl sal. I have Suffragette coming on the third and watch all the mania videos because they are so fun oh my gosh they are so fun some other plans i plan to participate at least one of the zooms next week because that's super fun we also have on tuesday um i belong to the tudor rose sampler guild and our monthly meeting i've not been able to go to an in-person meeting because they're on tuesday evenings at like seven and that just with having a little one and she can't go to the grandparents like early before this obviously um they're having a zoom meeting so i'm excited about that it'll be something new and different to do that meeting to actually be participating in a meeting and it be by zoom so anyway are we ready it's joy filled stashy stash time all right so first things first if you get Mystic Fabrics, Fabric of the Month, and you have not gotten yours yet, avert your eyes. Because this is a warning spoiler alert. I get the 18 count Ada. I get Zweigert, because I know she has Charles Craft too, but I get the Zweigert. And I get a 12 by 24 piece. And this month it is, these, she actually is using the, these are called for, I think, for the dragons, the elemental dragons from Ink Circles. I'm not stitching those. Um, they're not my jam, but they are beautiful charts. Um, but this is sea breeze is that right yeah no excuse me spring breeze spring breeze and that is blowing that out let me fold it back small again and it's just a really pretty mid-tone purple midish light tone purple it's really pretty so i'll have to find something fun for that it's going to go in my stash for now and i love that she's kind of doing more muted tones this year and more like single colors I know she's talked about maybe bringing in some more two tones. We'll see. I participated in a fabric games. It was several weeks ago, I feel like. And then my package went on a tour of the world. Not really. It went on a tour of Texas. Um, it left. Usually my packages get to me from Misty in two days tops. I mean, they're fast. And she's in the Midwest. I am in Texas. Um, but my package decided to take a really long time even getting to Texas. And then it bypassed me altogether. Went to Houston for a day or something. Stayed in San Antonio for two days. Went to Austin for a bit. And then it traveled a really long, took a really long time to make that three hour journey from Austin to my house. I said, oh, so you're mocking me and my inability to even leave the house. Anyway, so I participated and this one is still in the, in a crinkly bag, like a bag. So I'm just going to show it to you. She had just done some mystery. She'd found tubs of fabric. I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, ooh, tubs of fabric. So this is a 28 count Lugana in a mystery, but it's just a really light, it's really going yellow. It's a creamy, it's got some yellow. It's a big piece, 27 by 27. So I don't know what that's for yet, but. And then this was a mystery defect. I will take this one out. Um, I don't know what the defect is. I'm not really seeing it. I know there's a couple lighter spots, but I think it's really cool. Oh, I see now. So here's some defect, but I think that's really neat. Kind of reminds me a little bit of murky this is the charles craft you can kind of tell but it's an 18 count and it's a 27 by 30 inch piece it's huge i don't know what it's going to be for but 
I'm restocking now that I diminished my supply so much with Mania kidding. All right, shall we continue on with fabrics? I think we shall. I got my coloring cotton 18 count. Um, my 36 is coming. They kind of did it in spurts. My 36 is coming. And then I also randomly this month decided, hey, I'm going to get a 32 even weave. And then I ended up canceling it because I realized my 36 was going to run out. It was a gift, like a prepay. So I re-upped my 36 because I'm loving her 36. And so I'm getting one month of 32 even weave. So that's coming too. But this, I get the neutral. This is 18 count in colonnade. It is so good. It's not going to show up at all, but it is so good. If you do not get her fabrics they, of the month, they are still open right now. I know she closed them for a bit. They might be closed now. I don't know. The last time I looked, they were still open. All right. I think we're going to still continue to travel down the fabric road. Stash Unload, one of the ladies that I often buy her fabrics because they're a great deal. She had some Country Mocha in 18 count, so I got two 18 by 21 inch cuts. Steal of a deal. I love this type of fabric. Dying for cross stitch, Kathy Davidson. She is on Facebook. I'll link her group below. She does fabric of the month. She actually shows you and you have about four or five days. It might even be up to seven to say you want it. And then she dyes it and then she invoices. So I think it's kind of cool because you get to see what it is. And based on what color it is, you can choose your count. You can choose your fabric. I love the mystery ones. But I think this is kind of a neat concept too. Um, so anyway, I liked, I'm a light blue gal and her color of the month was light blue. So I got her April fabric of the month. I got a fat quarter of 32 count Lugana, which is beautiful. I think her fabric of the month for this month should be up here pretty soon. And then I got the 18 count Ada. I can always find projects for the light blue, always. So. Like I said, I'm restocking. I used a lot of de-stash um, funds from cleaning out stock that I didn't just super love um, or like colors that came in and I was like, mm. or back when I started buying from Misty and I was just like, oh, I can get that one. Oh, I can get that one. When am I going to have time to, or when am I going to pick eight different projects to stitch on neon fabrics, which are gorgeous, but you know. All right, so then a week or so ago, I participated in Brandy's, Friday night fight night. I think it was two weeks ago. And I got, this is an 18 opal Ada in vanilla latte, which I think is pretty. This is an 18 count Ada in an unnamed kind of a grayish. This is an 18 count in a neutral, not named, but perfect. And then another one that's nearly identical that's also an 18 count. So, oh my God. So I'm excited about those. Again, no projects. Look how pretty. It's a pretty stack of fabric. All right, I don't think I have any more fabric. Hold, please. All right, I'm back. That was a bit of a pause. Um, I had to answer a phone call from a little one. And then I had to um, retrieve my food off the porch. I have not eaten yet, but I will eat momentarily. Um, it is a little bit on the later side. It's about 7.30 right now. I do plan on going live. <clears throat> excuse me, about nine o'clock. I had two more orders that I want to show you. So the first one came from Cobweb Corner. If you have not ordered from Cobweb Corner, that corner, excuse me, they are an LNS that they are lightning fast. They ship so fast. There is a code. I think it is if it is your first order. And it is all caps, welcome CC. And it will get you a percentage off of your order. It is on their site. I just couldn't find it later on and somebody shared it with me um, and so I snatched up some charts that I had been eyeing on a wish list or whatever and because everybody was like go shop cobweb corner they have some cool stuff they do they had some charts I'd not seen before and I picked up just some random skeins that looked cute of um, classic color works so I got apple fritter which is funny because this came in my nest egg Granny Annie, which is a really pretty navy blue, navy blue royal blue. Queen Bee, I have this already in several projects and I use it quite frequently. Jelly Roll might be one of my new faves. 
lettuce leaf. Again, uh, my definition of the perfect like turquoise and pickle beets, which is another one that's a favorite of mine. So I went ahead and snagged another skein of that because I'm almost out of the one that I have. And I tend to love to pull it for, to get things. So I grabbed those and then I did get some charts. Um, I love this series, but I specifically wanted this one. Reasons you will see shortly. This is part of the Little House Needleworks Little Sheep Virtue. And this is joyfulness. I just think it's so cute and it has a sheep and it says joyfulness. And then I snagged, I have been wanting these. This is Festive Little Fobs, the barnyard edition. That goat on that barn is everything. And then you've got the cow with the sheep and the chick, the rooster, there's a black and white pig, there's a horse, there's a sheep round. So yeah, love it. I probably will pull one of these neutral ones to stitch them all. I don't know what I'll do with them once I stitch them all, but stitch them all. But then I got two Plum Street that before this I had not seen. I don't know if they're newer or they're ones that I just haven't seen. Um, this is Sunflower House, which I love, but my thought is I might only stitch from here over. I don't know though because I love this flag on this wagon. But my thought is, or from the horse over, um, I haven't decided yet, but I liked that one. And then, oh my gosh, I've never seen this and I needed it. It's called French Woolens. And it has a cute house and this girl in a little white and red dress, a shepherdess. And then all of the sheep have stripes and plaids. They're French Woolens. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute. And what I might do is, since it's French woolens, instead of saying welcome, I'll chart bonjour. 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 Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. All right, so that was my little bit of stash acquiring from Cobweb Corner. And then I did get a order from Trish at Threads Entwined. And again, my code is still good through the end of May. It is JOY15, and it will get you 15% off your order. Um, I ordered some flosses from her um i got these are just ones i tend to pick quite often and they're when you get you see them you get them um i got two cherry cobbler and two which are classic color works and then gentle arts i got two of briar rose which i love so snag those up i am loving the um rose from bent creek and I saw this one. It's called Gnomes in the Garden Row. And I think it is so cute. Now I will be doing some converting on this because I do that. But I think it is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. So Gnomes in the Garden Row. And then I got... Um, this was another Bent Creek that I'd seen previously. I will be um, converting this. But it's Quaker Easter Egg and it says He is Risen. And then, oh, this is one I've been dying to have. Plum Street, Samplers, Babushka's Bees. Look at those bees gap. And we have this funny thing when my daughter was little, like two, three years old, I have these videos of her, where she would take her blanket and wrap it around her head. And I go, oh, Babushka, Babushka. And she go, Babushka, Babushka. She's so cute, oh my gosh. So she occasionally will do that, Babushka. So I have Babushka's Bees, and I love it. Such a good chart. Paulette is genius. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I did grab this one. This was from um, Market this year. This is Annie B's Folk Art. And this is Threadneedle Street. And it says, we don't say goodnight till our stitching's complete. That's how we roll here on Threadneedle Street. And I just, you know, so many people have showed this. But I love that it has, like, the plaid on the houses. It has the spools of thread for the fence. The big tomato pin cushion. It's just so cute. And then I grabbed these two charts. I've been admiring them for quite some time and I did snag some of the flosses that go with them because Trish always has such a great stock of flosses. Um, so this one is the Wool and Flax Company, which I think is adorable. Let me sheep. And I got some of the flosses. Now, does that mean I will stitch it exactly like that? No. I might decide I like other things depending on which fabric. 
And then I got the milk and cream company with the cows. And I got just a few of the flosses. So I love those little circle trees. So cute. So anyway, go visit Trish at Threads and Twine, Joy 15, through the end of the month. And go visit Cobweb Corner. Welcome, CC, for a percentage off of your order there. I am, um, I don't have a specific code. That is just the one I used. And I believe it is one that is readily available to anyone. So, we have talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. And by we, I mean me. And I will be back for a live here shortly. Um, again, 9 o'clock each evening. <laughs> so, if you are one of the four folks who was chosen for the flosses, I will be reaching out to you on your comment on the last video. Now, there was a question if I was going to continue on to do my normal weekly updates. Yes, absolutely. I will continue to do my normal Friday videos. Whether I show mania or not, I'm not sure. I'm kind of tempted to like not double dip those, but I don't know. If it's all I end up working on during the week, then yes, I will show them at the end of the week. But for today, I'm going to save that one for the live tonight. So, I think I have just about covered everything. And more. And I hope you are enjoying some stitching. If you are doing mania, that would be awesome to share with me that you're doing mania. I've watched so many people's mania prep videos. I'm excited for the daily mania videos. My playlist I might not finish mania videos until well after jolly July at this rate because everybody is making such incredible incredible videos um I will say a couple of folks um shouted me out I think Becca at my stitchy home Becky Becca oh gosh now I feel like a dummy who's saying it wrong Oh, good gravy. There it is. Nope, that's not it. Oh, and thank you to all of you that have sent me fun messages and all sorts of cool stuff. And, well, I know that the Crafty Curator, she mentioned me and her. Um, that's what reminded me of my very first floss tube. She was watching my floss tube, my very first one, and shared it on her Instagram. And I was like, ooh, girl, you're going back, back in the day. Oh, good gravy. I can't find it now. I think somebody might have mentioned it in a comment of one of my videos. And I think it's My Stitchy Home. She mentioned me. And I love that. I think that's so sweet when people mention other people. That's why I always shout out my my, be, my buddies. Um, so, yeah. What have I got on the agenda this weekend? I'm going to make some more project bags if I can get my fusible fleece. Joyfield Little One might want to start another project. We do have some Ada. We have yellow, a bright pink, and like a teal, a turquoisey teal in the 11 count. And so she might decide she wants to do something else. So we'll have to kind of maybe find a pattern and see. Or she may want to take a break. I don't know. I said you can't start another one until you have, you have um, this one finished. She goes, but mommy, you don't do that. I said, yes. But this is a situation where you do as I say, not as I do. And she goes, oh. Then she was all confused and went, okay. <laughs> she just didn't, didn't go any further with that. So anywho, I've rambled on it even longer now. I hope you have a great evening. I will be back here shortly with a live. And I hope that you tune in. If you can't, watch the replay to see where my mania is headed on this crazy train of fun. And until next week. So long, stitch well, I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye.